Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I will show you how you can fix this unable to activate issues on various iPhones, iPad or iPod Touch. If you have these kind of devices, that means you have a broken baseband device. There is no IMA on your device. This is the hardware fault of your baseband IC. So if you want to repair this permanent, you can go for the hardware repair. But for the software method, in this video, I will show you a very easy and a good trick in that you can easily fix this device on the latest iOS 14 and without jailbreak. So like for iOS 12, 13 and 14, there are jailbreak available and there are lots of tools to fix the broken baseband issue but for iOS 15 there is no chill break and there is no tool to fix that but that issue is now fixed there is the latest tool available for unable to activate fixed device on iOS 15 without jailbreak. So now let's see how we can do that. Now first requirement you will require a MacBook or if you don't have Mac you can try it on the Hackintosh and install it on your Windows system and then run the Mac. Now first let me tell you the compatibility of the devices. If you have a iPhone 6s, 6s plus, iPhone SE first generation, iPhone 7, 7 plus, iPhone 8, 8 plus and iPhone X and for some model you will require the special engineering DSDC cable but for some model the only lightning cable will work. So I will put all the device list on the screen so you can read that and check the compatibility. Also some iPad models are also supported. You will require these tools, one is the HFZ Activator latest version that is 2.1, one is the CheckRain patch version, if you don't know how to put the DFU, you can use that, and another one is the Magic CFG 1.3 latest, or you can also try the old Purple Pro software, but for some people, the Purple Pro don't show the USB serial port, so you can try the Magic CFG in that your serial port will show for the lightning cable also. So first you need to install this software. All these software links is available on my blog. You just need to check the description link. You will get my blog link. So just go there and download all the tools. Now after that you can also install the magic CFG. Just move all the software into your application. I've already installed it so I will just replace it. Now we have installed both the tools. Also if you don't know how to put your device into the DFU mode. You can use this check print patch. In that you can easily put the device into DFU mode so it's up to you you can use the patch or you can also put directly your device into the DFU mode if you know how to put that now both the tool is opening and working good if you see any error you can install some dependency like homebrew and the other lib USB drivers for this you can watch this video in that I have explained how you can install all the drivers and dependency one by one. Alright now for this process I have a iPhone 6s that is running on the latest iOS 15. For this model I need a special engineering cable that is the DCSD cable. But for the other models like iPhone 7, 7 plus, iPhone 8, 8 plus and iPhone X. You just require a normal lightning cable that will work for you. But for the iPhone 6s, 6s Plus and some iPads like iPad Mini 4, iPad Air 2 and iPod 5th generation, you will require a special DSDC cable or a Magico DCSD cable. So I will put all the information on the screen so you can pause the video and read that and after that you can continue this process. Now first you need to register your device ECID. So to get your ECID, you need to connect your device into the DFU mode. After that tool will detect your device and it will show your device information including your ECID number. Now after that just copy this ECID number. Now you need to register your device with this ECID number. So for registration you can contact me on my social media handles. Just go to my website or my blog. You will get all the social media links there. You can contact me on Telegram, Instagram, Facebook or Twitter or I prefer you can contact me on telegram after that just send me that ACID I will register for you for the prices you can check out on the screen the prices is same for the hello screen activation lock and for the broken baseband so you can check the prices and send me the ACID for the registration now once your device is registered you can ready to use the tool now again put your device into your normal mode so that we can verify the serial number and move the process further.
Now after that you need to select the serial check option on the tool and it will show your device need to change the serial number so you can copy the serial number and note it somewhere else or you can just directly copy it and after that click on ok now next you need to put your device into the purple mode so for that you can directly click on the purple mode button it will download this file on your desktop automatically that the zip file will contain this purple mode you need to extract that first and then run it as you can see that I have an iPhone 6s and it required the special cable that's why I will not click on the without DCSD button as my model required the DCSD cable but if you have an iPhone 7, 7 plus, 8, 8 plus, iPhone X and iPhone SE first generation you can select that button from the DFU mode and then open the purple mode now you can see I'm using the magic CFG 1.3 instead of the purple pro mode as this magic CFG is more latest and stable as compared to the purple mode as it's a old software so first you need to go to the digitizer and put your device into the DFU mode after that click on that button and allow all the permission this time your device will get into the purple mode and your iPhone screen color is changed if it's showing exploit field you can try again put in the DFU mode and then try after that you can refresh the list and you will select the USB serial option after that click on connect and read after that your device detail will show now replace the new serial that I mentioned on the tool now click on the right button after that on the left side you will see reboot to iOS option now click on that after that your device will automatically reboot and go to the normal mode now the device is on again open the HFZ tool now click on the serial check and this time you will see the done message that means the serial is changed now again put your device into the DFU mode and make sure that you will put the right way as some guys will not put DFU mode in the right way and then they will see some exploit error now after that you will see tool is detected the details now you can select the boot option you can click on it if the single boot is not work for you you can select the boot second option and then you can try it after that you will see the device is successfully exploited after that it will send some ram disk file so wait for it to get complete it will take around 2-3 minutes or depend upon your internet connection so just wait for it to get complete and then we will see the further steps Now after that you will get the device is successfully booted click on ok now you will see the SSH check button is highlighted now click on it now it's done you will get the SSH is connected if you see SSH is not connected you can try it again and then it will see now you will see the iOS 15 hello screen button will appear now click on that and your device will get a reboot and you will get the successfully message after that your device will on again now just simply activate your device and this time you won't see the unable to activate screen instead of that you will get the data in the privacy page so we have successfully fixed that message on the iOS 15 without jailbreak now you can simply activate your device and move further So now you can see that we are on our home screen and it's on iOS 15 latest version. Now you can sign in to your own Apple ID account or use all the iServices and this method is completely untethered method like if you reboot your device it will not lock again and the re-bypass is completely free. So if you want to use this tool in future like if your device will lock again by mistake or update you can use the tool again for free and re-bypass it. Now you can see this method is completely untethered and the device is on again. Now you can sign in to your own Apple ID account and use all the iServices. So let's see all the things one by one.
So now the iCloud login is working. Now let's move further and see the other details. You can try the FaceTime Siri and the App Store also. So you can see that the App Store is also working. So let's try Siri. Hey Siri, open the clock. So Siri is also working. I've tried another time and it's working good. So you can see that all the things are working well. You can try the FaceTime also and you can see that it's signing. That means it's working. So everything will work like a normal device except the SIM card as it has the baseband issue. So SIM will not work but other things will work. So you can try this method and easily fix the unable to activate issue. So now let me just reboot it again and show you that everything will work after the reboot also. So let's try it. So now the device is on again and everything is working after the reboot also. So that's how you can fix this unable to activate issue with the untethered way. If you want to register the device you can send me the ECID on my social media handle. So that's all for this video. If you like this video just hit the like button and if you're new here subscribe to the channel for more cool update. I will see you in the next video. So till then goodbye take care and peace out.